Okay. She's not selling the house. Are you kidding me? What? She doesn't want to move out either. She wants to stay living here with the nurse. Are you fucking kidding me? What? She's not selling the house? No, Katie, she's not selling the fucking house. Don't shout at me, Robert. I didn't shout at you. Then don't swear at me. This is bullshit. She put her up to it. Who? You think? Well, ever since Mum had the diagnosis, she's always been, I want to die with dignity, and now what, out of the blue, she suddenly changes her mind? She talked her out of it. I think you're right. Who? Who are we talking about? The fucking nurse, Katie. Who do you think? Don't fucking swear at me, Robert. Will you stop it? Both of you, we need to sort this out. If she doesn't sell the house, I'm screwed. I'm going to be renting for my whole life. It's all right for you two. You already own. Oh, please. We are mortgaged up to the hilt. I am up to my neck in debt with Greg's new business. My job doesn't cover it, not even close. And we have just spent $20,000 on Lucy's chemotherapy. Why? What do you mean, why? Because she has cancer. She's a 17-year-old poodle. Of course she's got cancer. <laughs> She is not a poodle, she is a biche on freeze and she is a major part of our family. What are you going to do next? Take her to Disneyland? Oh, so it's okay for you to remortgage your house and fly your wife to Switzerland to get her blood boiled to treat a disease that doesn't even exist? Firstly, Sarah, my wife is a human being. Barely. And secondly, Lyme disease, Sarah, it's a real disease, okay? It's real. Yep, so is cancer. I never said it wasn't. Lyme disease is totally real, Sarah. A girl I met in rehab had it, she said it was the worst. Okay, whatever. That is not the issue. What are we going to do about Mum? We could just wait. Let nature take its course. And how long is that going to be? Ten years? Twenty? Oh my god. I'm going to be renting in my forties. Yeah, sweet place, bro. Thanks. Yeah, bit pokey. But, you know, for the area, it's great. Thanks, man. Couldn't believe it when this prick's name comes up on my phone. I'm like, Benny, Benny J. Bum jab. <laughs> My God. <laughs> it's been like five or six years minimum. Uh, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so long. Can I get your beer, mate? I would destroy a beer. Oh, Thanks. Perry, I'm sorry. You can't smoke in what? here. It's just because we've got the baby. You've got a baby? Yeah. Yeah. Congrats, bro. That's great news. Is one of these mum? Which one's mum? Me. Your mum. Hello, mum. <laughs> hey. You used to go to Skeggs. Yeah, right? Yes, we used to perv on you at the oh. bus stop. You married Saskia bus stop. <laughs> you do it with Saskia in <laughs> bus stop. Yeah. Congrats. You've got heaps older. Nah, she has. Well, we all have. Yeah. You're still hot, but. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. <laughs> you used to know it back then as well. Remember? You used to be a bit up yourself back then. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she was. Uh, so, does anyone want to do a line? Yeah, yeah, that'd be. So listen, do you want to play a game? Not unless it's naked twister or something, you know what I mean? No, I'm serious. It's called Wish. Wish? I never heard of it. Well, me and Jane go into the bedroom, and you wait here and make a wish. And we say you come in, you see if your wishes come true. What do you think? Yeah, it sounds good. What do you think? Sounds cool. Does your mobile take movies? Yeah, of course. You make sure you're filming when you come in. You don't want to miss a thing. Come on, what's going on? How the fuck should I know? Are you boys ready out there? Yeah, we're ready. Are you filming? Yeah, we're filming. All right, then. 